what is up guys? I have some great news for you. Our planet just completed the full circle around the sun. Happy New Year! Now this is a science news channel. Here I'm gonna tell you the latest news in science and I try to find those ones that are the most relevant to our day-to-day -day lives. For today I picked three of them and they go something like this. Our brain on imagination is very similar to our brain on reality. Second thing, if you have a hard time sleeping this year, now more than ever, you can blame it on artificial light sources. And third of all, it's about coffee. Because nothing can beat coffee, it is the most consumed beverage in the world after water, nothing is gonna change that very soon. Let me start with number one. What if I told you that what you imagine is very similar to the real thing? 68 participants were trained to associate an uncomfortable electric shock with a sound. Now we can very well guess how they learned to do that. Their brain activity was observed using an fMRI scanner. The participants imagined a sound that was associated with the electric shock, but this time no electric shock was given to them. It was just imagination. And big surprise, brain activity was remarkably similar. Inside our brains the same neurons fire together despite the fact that we're imagining or experiencing the real thing. So is our brain on imagination similar to our brain on reality? Well, according to this research, when dealing with phobias and threats, yes. After repeated exposure the brain unlearns to be afraid. This is the main procedure of getting rid of our phobias guys, repeated exposure. It's interesting to see how potent imagination is. Now you kinda get from where they got inspiration for a movie called The Matrix. Second news. For many hours a day we stare at these things that have screens and emit light and they disrupt sleep. Now in an older article I learned that blue light was the major sleep disruptor. But now what I learned from this study is that all light sources can disrupt sleep, not just blue light. There's a sensory membrane called the retina. It is positioned in the backs of our eyes. The retina contains a subpollution of light sensitive cells, just like the sensor of a camera. When these cells receive light, this is what the scientists discovered, a protein called melanopsin regenerates continuously within them. Now this protein signals the brain to regulate sleep, alertness and consciousness. After just 10 minutes of illumination, melanopsin does its job. It regulates our internal clocks. And if we expose our eyes to bright light, melanopsin suppresses melatonin, a hormone that regulates sleep. So if you want to fall asleep faster in the 2019 evenings, avoid bright light as much as you can. Last, third news, coffee is the second most consumed beverage in the world after water. It is very popular. And from the latest research, it turns out that nothing will change that very soon. Even people who are sensitive to the bitter taste don't avoid it. In fact, they even drink more coffee. Bitterness is a warning signal. By evolutionary logic, we should avoid substances that have a bitter taste. As this study shows, the sensitivity to the bitter taste is caused by a genetic variant. And the more sensitive a person is to the bitter taste of coffee, the more coffee they drink. Uh, this happens due to a phenomenon called learned positive reinforcement where people who have a heightened ability to taste coffee's bitterness, and particularly the distinct flavor of caffeine, learn to associate good things with it. So yeah, nothing can stand in the way of coffee's popularity. You've just been updated with the latest findings in science. If you want to be updated more, click that like and that subscribe button. And I'm gonna see you guys next time.